the book of John Gospel chapter 3 I think verse 8 or 9 the Bible said as the wind bloweth where it listeth thou hearest the sound thereof but can't tell where it coming from so is everyone that is what that is born of the spirit part of your identity is that you are born of the spirit if you are born again it means your life should be unpredictable are you with me it means that nobody on earth should be able to predict your life should be able to predict where you are headed should be able to tell the outcome of your life this is why the bible says eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has he entered the heart of man what god has planned unto them that love him no man should be able to tell except god the father the spirit the son because those are your most trusted past they are the only one that want to see you become who they have scripted that you will be but how come demons can trace your address witches can even send apprentices into your house in the form of a housemaid and then they, they initiate all your children give you stroke give you diabetes and then you are not aware meanwhile you are a god in the spirit you are a god seated decorated on the throne but your body is afflicted because your life is predictable how can you make your life unpredictable? It's by aligning with the spirit. Aligning with the wind. He say, as the wind blow it, where it lifts You hear the sound, you can feel the movement of the wind. But you cannot tell where it's coming from or where it's going. That is the desire of God for your life. And that is what the enemy is fighting so much. To ensure that you don't attain. Because they know that the day you become like the wind, they have lost their grip over you. And then a terror is already born. And then when you show up, it's damage, 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 damage that you will be doing to their kingdom. So they will come against you with all their arsenals to make sure you are depressed. They unleash the demon of depression out of you to make sure you don't rise in priesthood. Because how you wield the power of your kingship is through the protocol of priesthood. The moment you began to pray, you begin to pray, you begin to activate the powers of your throne. The angels are mobilized. They begin to act. They begin to mobilize things. They begin to ensure that you are lifted. They begin to orchestrate your seasons that you don't miss them. Because they know the possibility that lies within your vessel. They will throw delay on you. Throw depression on you. Throw hardship on you throw sickness on you to keep you way down we are not creatures that can be manipulated if you know what you know that is when you latch on the altar when you come to the altar you want to pray you can't force yourself when you look for the word to say it's not coming lie rely on the spirit Mahila Kaile, Mahila Hasadio Fenepondri, Pailok, Pailok is an attack. That is you trying to change dimension. You are trying to align with the wind. Because as the wind blow where it listed, probably they thought they had trapped you here. And then when you be aligned with the wind and you begin to travel, suddenly your feet are removed from here. And when they kept you, they thought they had succeeded in trapping you. Then they find you lifted up somewhere else. Because you can't trap the wind. Can you trap the wind? Sir? Can the wind be trapped? Then why is your life trapped? It's because you have refused to take the dimension of the wind. You can become the wind. How do you become the wind? You are born of the spirit. And when you are lying with the spirit, you are already taking the dimension of the wind. Some of us are white wind in the spirit. There is no obstacle that is capable of standing before us. Because when we come, we come like hurricane and we root out. You say, who are thou, O mountain, before Serubabem? You need to know who you are. If not, you will live like you will live beggarly, die beggarly, God buried beggarly. And then when you appear in the radar of eternity, they'll say, Oh, you don't.
don't come what are you doing here because you came as a surprise when they are looking for they are waiting for you to take the territory they are waiting for you for your voice to be heard in the quarters where it matters most then suddenly they see you in the hospital bed what are you doing here oh man know who you are don't allow your life to be full of mundanity there is nothing in time the only thing that make it make time relevant is the impact you are making for your god and your creator anything outside of that is a chase after the wind it's a chase after the wind listen have money have enough so that you can do the work of god with ease but let money not become the purpose of your life let it not if you have it enough this building will be completed so it's very important but don't chase money at the expense of your reality in the in the spirit because when you ascend your throne one decree can summon money beyond your imagination are you aware all the president of this country need to do is just to sign something if he signs something the kind of money that will come to him will feed the generation it will take care of many generations just a signature because he's a man in authority if you are a man in authority and you know the powers that you need you will know that just a cry we don't chase frivolities part of the strategy of the enemy that they used to keep you trapped is to preoccupy your mind with the pursuit of mundanity it is good to have the good things of life. God give them to you. Beautiful, enjoy them. But let them not become the sole pursuit of your life. Because your life does not begin here. You are a seed of eternity that was transported into time to carry out a specific assignment for hell. And when your time here is over and you appear in the radar of eternity, there will be two more that we say to you. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. And time to the joy of thy Lord. There's another one. You stay away from me. You won't cast off in your There are destinies tied to you. I speak to you as a young man here. As a young woman under the sound of my voice. Don't allow the pleasure of life to deceive you. There is something about you that the world have not seen. The Bible says eyes have not seen. Even your mother that gave birth to you don't know who you are. Your father don't know who you are. Your reality can only be defined from the standpoint of eternity. What is the mother saying concerning you? How do you know if you don't travel? How do you assess them if you don't journey? There is a glory that your head is to carry. There is a crown. There is a scepter. There is a sound that is supposed to... I want you to be challenged that when you stand here and you lift up your voice and lift and raise your hands like this. Let men see Jesus. Let them see the glory of the Lord descending upon you and ascending upon you because you have become a theater. These things are real. Don't just be an artist. Be a life-giving spirit. Be a life-giving spirit. What are you say? Do you know what it means? You are in this church. All gallery is empty. This is like. Do you know what will happen if you stand in Kubwa Market? And cleanse a madman. They will trace your root. And when they trace it, they will discover that it's gospel liberation power ministry. This place will become too small. There are many souls dying. Error and evil have taken over because the sons of light have refused to shine. I'm looking for men that will go into the secret place. And then the prayer they are praying is, Lord, if you will not use me, what am I doing in time? If you will not use me, if you will not give me power, why am I alive? If I cannot manifest your glory to my generation, then what am I doing here? Take me home. I'm looking for men and women that will cry.
cry and say, Lord, I have just one life to live. Can you make use of it? If you will not use it, take me out of here. Everybody is bound in the family. Cyclical pattern happening. Nobody can rise to challenges. He said, this is a people, robe and spoil. They are all of them snaring horses. And nobody is saying restore. Nobody. I don't know who you are waiting for. But I like you to know that whatever you are waiting for is waiting for you. Whatever you are waiting for is waiting for you. The devil knows what you are capable of doing. That is why they will not rest. They will throw anger at you. They will throw the arrow of sin against you. They want you to compromise here and here so that your priesthood will be weakened. Refuse it. Somebody ought to make up his or her mind that I will be a true soldier and my life will bring Jesus maximum profit. It's a prayer I've been praying. Lord, why did you come? If you will not use me, you would have allowed me to do business and make money. How can I be here fasting and praying every day and I'm not seeing your power? What is that? What am I doing with my life? I have one life to live and I'm a creature of time. I don't have forever here. If you will use me, use me now. Something is trying to deceive me. The walk with the spirit is not easy. It's a road, it's a, it's a, it's a narrow path. But only hard and strong men walk and they are the ones that manifest the glory. The devil knows what you stand for. What you represent in the spirit. Some of us are custodians of reality. But you have never known who you are. Because it has been veiled from you. It is veiled from you. You see yourself in dreams. Performing all kinds of miracles. Doing all kinds of exploits. But in the natural. You are far from that in your soul. If you see it. It means it's a reality in your spirit. How will you transport you from the spirit realm? Many of us here are billionaires in the spirit. But here you are looking for what to eat. Because you will not travel to where it is. You will not travel. When they call for prayer meeting, you say no, you have shop to attend. Sit there. You are a custodian. Sir. Tell your neighbor you are a custodian. You are a possessor of a reality. There is an eternal power, a scepter that only you can wield. There is a sound in the spirit that only you can release that will bless the body. There is a war, there is a wisdom that only you can crystallize in the earth like a holy abambezeli. If you don't rise, you will deny your world that reality. Your dimension is like the way. Your reality is not supposed to be predictable. Some of us, they gave you five years and it looked as if it becoming a reality. Since then, you've not been able to make any progress. The least of us is predictable. You might not say that is not the game. It's like the wind. As the wind blows where it is, this, you can hear the sound. You will hear my voice. You will see me. But you don't know where I'm going. And you cannot tell where I'm coming from. You might even know where I'm coming from, but you can't tell where I'm going. Because I'm a spiritual man. I'm a spiritual being. I'm a spirit entity. And my dimension is the right way. Anything that stands on my way, I kick it out. That is why God gave you prayer to pray. Don't expect that demons will leave you to amount to who you are in God. <laughs> As you try to rise, some people, the moment they climb the altar, they want to pray. That's when they soup. They remember the soup. They've not warmed it. They've not made the rice. Ah, I'm not called okay to put that business deal. We have to complete it. Why are you on the hotel? Do you think it's, it's, it's normal, it's natural? Those things will not come to you as long as you are on Facebook. As long as you are watching a movie, they will not come. But the moment you say, oh, let me pray. And you kneel down or you enter your closet. Then suddenly everything begins to call your name. The rice in the kitchen begin to smell nice. Yo, that is where your friend will come to visit. And then you cannot say no to them. So you have to abort prayer. Everything that happened to the believer is a deliberate orchestration. If you don't hear anything tonight, hear that. 
there is nothing like coincidence in the spirit realm everything is a deliberate orchestration either orchestrated to pull you out of a reality or to bring you into a reality some of us the suffering that is going on is an alarm in the spirit telling you to wake up so that you can possess your gate and take charge of your life some of us some of the struggles is a sign that demons have taken charge the procrastination the laziness they, 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 they say fast you say oh i'll fast tomorrow tomorrow come you by 11 you say ah it is the living that serve the lord you are procrastinating and and your life is keep shifting away can we count on you that jesus will profit from your life can you say what come what may my altar will not be called can we trust you to be a gatekeeper that is watching this ministry how many times has the angel of this commission come to you in the vision how many times it means you are not praying for the ministry if the angel of this ministry if you don't know him if he has not visited you it means you are you are just a floor member you have no consequence even though you are giving millions <laughs> is very important but as you give also do what pray for the ministry make sure you are known the angel knows you it comes to you before papa will climb here and say what the lord is saying for the season when he say you just start at the back and smile because you too you know where he's hearing from and then the things he heard you heard it it's a sign that you are following rightly and before you know it everything that is a reality in his life will become a reality in your life because where he is seated, where he visits, or where he is standing, you have been granted access to that place too. So the reality that accompanies him from here out is also a reality. Can we be on our feet? Hey ha Hey ha Hey ha